Hi dolphins! I have uh, a lot of catching up to do. It's been kind of a long time. Um, I had uh, that long break I told you about. And um, I've bought a lot of stuff. So we're actually just going to run through that. I'm going to catch you up. And um, the first one is this... Um, I got a tripod for my camera. So, so there's that. Maybe I can have some more creative angles going on hopefully. I, I got a lot of stuff and I haven't been making videos but I sure have been buying stuff so let's just get on with it. Get on with the bloody thing. Alright now here's the first one. This is a better mask for me. It's a respirator and you know what? I love it and I suggest a respirator like this for everyone. Don't cut corners anymore like I did with the little thing, little paper cotton thing. Get one of these because you know what? It's awesome. It's awesome. And I I love it's not just that it's safer, it's that it's really nice. Uh I feel like you can really breathe in it. It's it's um surprising. Uh it, it's just so much better. <laughs> Oh, let me demonstrate. You just put on your head like that and you got these straps and you just kind of like do it up behind your head like that. There it is. There it is. There, there I am. And every time I put this on, I just want to say, welcome to Ghost Adventures. <laughs> so there it is. And it's, I love it. It's, let me take this off. Um, so it's surprisingly comfortable. It's, uh, he, um, I don't like, uh, like I used to like put it up on my head like that when I would work, like wh while not spraying, I would put my smaller mask like up like that. With this, I don't do that because it's a bit heavier and bulkier. So I take it completely off of my head and then strap it back on every time I spray another coat for my face up. And, um, I have a very, very like oily face. I'm gonna just tell you, I'm gonna give you, that's my dirty secret. <laughs> I got a really greasy face. And I was like, kind of like, ooh, I was like kind of grossed out about this, about this part thing. I was thinking, ooh, that thing is gonna be so gross when I'm done with it. But you know what? It actually like absorbs the oil or something and it does, it's not that bad. So um, it's surprisingly like not oily after you use it. Let's get on to the next thing. As you can see, I have behind me my two latest dolls. I figured they work for this video because they're the later dolls. They're new. Um, one thing I didn't show you when I introduced Paiyu was Paiyu's little friend. I did actually get this doll. This getting a, a free demon doll was like my purpose for like um, jumping the gun on getting Paiyu so quick. There you go. He's my little devil guy! Yay! He really suits me. This is a doll chateau Andre. Andre has the bigger horns. Yep. He's cute. I'm naming him Noki. That's the Finnish word for soot. <laughs> I guess I guess he'll wear a lot of black when he's decorated. Um yeah. I really don't like miniature dolls. I think that that gives me a lot of anxiety to try to paint, but how who can pass up a free doll, right? <laughs> there you go. So cool. So I have him, and I'm just going to run this one by you real quick, just to kind of show you what's going on here. Is Kaisa? She's a doll chateau, Christina, or Christine. I don't know which. Christina, I guess. I don't know. And that's her, bald and completely unpainted. She's still not painted because she's waiting on a body. And I, I have a lot, of, I have a lot to do. So I'm not like, and it's been bad weather. So that's why she's not painted yet. Otherwise, I might have jumped the gun a bit and got, gone ahead and painted her. Uh, so she's not painted yet because I've just been buying too many dolls too close together. So I have a ton to do. And um, she's in love with the. Just so you know, just saying, just saying. I gave it away a secret. Okay, this next one. 
was, um, let me just go ahead and show you this stuff. This is going to be Paiyu's hair. This is alpaca and I've brushed it and washed it and stuff. Um, I actually bought it on, I bought it, it had been washed, like, yeah, by the, by the seller. So when I got it, it was already, um, washed, but I had to wash it again with conditioner to make it silky and I combed it and that's what it looks like. So he's a blonde too. I might get some more of this and make a new one for Lamrain because his human hair wig is just too stiff and coarse. Paiyu is not going to have perfect hair like this. He's also got... I showed you this before. <laughs> my head just pops up there. Um, I showed you this before. This is my Lincoln Long Wool Sheep uh, Wool. It's very, very frizzy and it's coarse and curly and it's been washed already too. So whatever I do with it, it's going to remain close to this state. And he's going to have frizzy parts of his hair and hopefully it, I can arrange it in a nice ombre look. Um, and he'll have this, this stuff sp spurting out wherever it will be artistically acceptable. So pretty soon I will be um, uh, starting that wig for Bayou and I'll show you this other alpaca hair I have too. This stuff is unwashed. It's kind of dirty. I don't really want to touch it, but here you go. That's Kaisa's hair, the, the doll chateau head I just showed you. She's going to have brown hair. It's probably going to look auburn. It's supposed to be brown though. So, <laughs> got that. Now this one was a lucky find at an antique store. Ah! There you go. It's a, um, it's a harp. It's made of wood. It's got little, um, plastic strings on it and I was really lucky to find this. I had been on the lookout for these um, on eBay and stuff and people overcharged for them so I found uh, this at its proper price at the antique store and I grabbed it. I didn't even care if I was budgeting money or whatever. I just had to take it. I had to grab it. I was, I was thinking I should jazz it up with somehow, some way. I don't know what I'm going to do to it. Maybe gold leaf it or something. Um, this belongs to Lamrain um, because his character has a harp <laughs> and he magically enchants it to play music for himself. So it's kind of like, kind of like the fantasy version of having a CD player. Next item is this. See that? I got that from my local craft store, Joann's, is what it is, and um, this is, I can tell you, is useful for sewing for dolls, super, super, super much. It has a weighted base, it's totally bottom heavy, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it works well that way. One, one thing that I wish that it had was a longer stand to make, um, uh, to, to be like the le the length of the legs that the dolls have. I used to have like this really big heavy candle holder candlestick thing and this would have fit perfectly on top of that and it would have had a nice long length for making a long skirt uh, and then I sold it on eBay. <laughs> so now I'm like wanting that back and I don't have it. It's made of styrofoam. You stick pins in it to display jewelry off it or or whatever it actually comes with pins that its proportions are like perfect for D. <laughs> if you have a ring ring doll number three body this <laughs> is what you're gonna need if you want to sew for him. As for the tor torso height I'm not sure. Um, as for the bust I'm not sure but I'm guessing the bust actually is like probably the same width or close enough. It is shaped kind of like a girl, but it's not not too much. Um, uh, so don't, like, don't be too particular about how you fit the clothes around this. You're still gonna want to use the doll a little bit, um, but the waist is perfect and the hips are perfect, and that's what I needed. And it's perfect. And you know what? If you buy one of these, it's not perfect. It's made of styrofoam, so I was thinking you can carve it, carve off some styrofoam and 
and make it the shape of your doll. So, so there's that subtractive sculpting. Yeah, so this, yes, this has already been very useful for me. This is a wooden bucket that I bought in, uh, in Joanne's also. This is what it looked like originally. Uh, and this, and then I painted it to look like this. And I don't think I did a good, very good job, so I don't know about that. Uh, but, but whatever, I painted the inside blue because I was kind of thinking I would actually fill it with, um, with that resin pouring stuff so that it well, might look like there's water in there. <laughs> so that might be cool. It is really small. It's perfect for an MSD, uh, but, uh, and it's a bit small for an SD. Like, see, I don't know, it's like a purse for him. And this, this one I thought would actually be like really cool um, for like a diorama. Cause I thought I, I thought I would like hang this on the wall of the diorama with a dipping spoon sticking out. It looks like drinking water or something, or I don't know, whatever. This one I got from uh, Pink Fantasy on eBay, AKA My Bayer 2008. And it's a violin. It has a case and I'm gonna open it up and show you. And I'm so impressed with this. This is so cool, guys. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, pretty, gorgeous, beautiful? Look at it. <laughs> and um, it's it's made of real wood and it uh, it's like thin little wood. It looks and feels like a real violin. There's the bow. And it's hollow and it's got all this detail so pretty and i um i bought this as to uh, to to be a painting prop um and also i it's it pretty much belongs to d so so the proportions i think are pretty good he's not really a musician it's like, he's got like this weird thing going on where it's like, it's like, you know how he, sometimes you realize all of a sudden you can play a musical instrument even though you haven't had any practice due to like a past life? <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> so, there it is. I was really, really impressed with that. But it's not cheap. I spent like thirty dollars on it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I it, it it turned out looking so good that I don't mind the price. I, I think I've pretty much um, showed you everything. Sorry if I keep talking like a bimbo. I don't mean to. <laughs> um. Uh, so um, as far as this writing and story creation goes. I went on a shopping spree at the bookstore because since I have a job, I can do that now. I've always wanted to just buy a lot of books in one go. And I did that. All these books were actually on sale, except for one. So I'm just gonna get right down to it and show you what I got. I'm always looking to like uh, supplement my knowledge of stuff and like and ideas for like details that I can use for story writing. So I got this book. I just picked it up randomly. There it is. It's called Old Wives Lore. And it's, I'm, I'm actually really disappointed. Uh, what they really should have uh, called this book was Old Wives Remedies. <laughs> Cause you know how some old wives tales are really crazy. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and, and weird. And it's not always recipes. It's, it's also like other things, it's like fortune telling type things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, like, like if a duck flies over your house this way, or, you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, but this is really just home remedies. It's a home remedy recipe book. And yeah, I guess that's going to be useful um, for writing. You know, it'll tell you which um, herbs and spices might cure a cold or something. <laughs> And I don't know, it's, that will probably be in handy some, somewhere, sometime. It's, it's by Polly Bloom. There you go. You can, you can also use this in your real everyday life. This next one is, uh, a, uh, it's just like a, 
a, a pretty thing that I bought. It's for looking at. This is called the, the a book of days. And it's like, this was like, <laughs> uh, this was uh, really cheap and I went ahead and I threw it on the pile because um, I love middle age artwork from the middle ages. Uh, it's, it's my favorite art. I'm just gonna let you know that. See, see that? I love that. I love it. I love the middle ages. And it's like, I've, always, I've known about the, the Book of Hours, you've heard of that, the Book of Hours, right? It's got stuff, pictures like that in there. Um, uh, there's always been like a, like a certain peasant scene that I've always liked and always wanted to sort of mimic the costumes of the peasants. Um, so I've always been on the lookout for like something like this actually. And there's every every page has a picture, so so I I bought this book for looking and contemplating, so I can just sort of hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm right yeah you know, just to look at it and um, maybe just sort of let my imagination run wild and I think what you're, I don't know what you're, I haven't, I haven't read like the introduction to this yet, but I th you're supposed to write stuff into it. It's your own book of days. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to write. I probably won't write anything in it, so. This one was, uh, this one was the reason why I went to the bookstore. I always want to go to the bookstore and pick up like at least one, like, writing mechanics book, how to write. That's all that I read these days just how to write this how to write that so i picked up writing the paranormal novel uh so if you got lots of like magic and mystery and inhuman characters you can read this to help you write a book with that stuff in it <laughs> i haven't read it yet i don't know so um yeah so i think it's gonna be useful the last book I got was also quite purposeful, and I had this in mind. I knew I had to get this, but it is the Book of Nights. Uh, and this is because I, I knew that I had to learn things about military war type stuff, and, and also knights particularly, um, because I don't know much about military and war stuff. But it's more like awesome medieval stuff. Yes! So I'm gonna read that and maybe it'll help me to f flesh out those details in my own story. And I believe I've showed you everything today. Sorry if this video was long and boring. I just thought you'd kind of like to see that sort of thing. I hope you uh, got some ideas and inspiration from what I've showed and told you. And let's take a look at the dolls. Let's say goodbye to the dolls just once before we go. There they are. <laughs> There's Dee and his dad. <laughs> they don't get along very well. As you can see, Dee hates his dad. Ta-da! <laughs> ho ho! Hee hee! Ho ho! Sorry. I don't know what kind of sounds I should be making right now. I'm just showing you dolls right now. So there you go. All right, I hope you'd enjoyed this. He's going to get his hair soon, I promise. There you go. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, dolls. See you next time. Until then, who stole my sandwich? <laughs>